Hi guys, I thought I'd bring this video to you from the heights of our bedroom. So I'm getting doing the final touches on the bedroom this week and one of the jobs I had to do is clean the dust. Now check this out, from sanding the floor, look at all that dust, all the way around and on the vent and the light uh, shades, uh, they were chockers as well, we've already cleaned that. So that's my job first up and uh, yeah there's not a lot to do in here this week but I'll take you through and as we go through the week and show you the final works leading up to us moving in on the weekend. So I've just come home from work because I've had a machine break down and I can't continue with my work there. So I've come home and I feel like today's the day I'm going to get some paint on the walls. So I've got a few things left to do uh, and a bit of undercoating. So I'll show you around the room and uh, I'll get stuck into it. Okay, so firstly, quite obviously, I've got to undercoat the door frame. I got all the skirtings in yesterday and they're all corked up but I want to give them another undercoat because you can see it didn't cover very well over the dark brown. So I'll do that, they're all in um, and I'm pretty happy with that especially with the now that all the gaps are corked up, looks good. I've got to sand that corner down, uh, I've, I gave that a final coat yesterday and it just needs a few dags sanded up. This corner also just needs a bit of a sand. So I'll sand that down. Um, there's a few spots on the walls I found, so obviously that gets sanded. Um, that uh, repair along the wall where I ran the cable, that just needs a final sand and the light switch. Uh, so I'll sand all of that um, and then I'll undercoat the wall, that, that basically that wall only, the rest of the walls are okay. So I'll undercoat I'll undercoat the window frame and the door frame and uh, once that's dry we'll be able to start looking at putting some colour on. So I'll chuck this back on the tripod and I'll get on with it.
Okay, so you might think it's the next day because I'm changed, but no, nah, I went and had a shower. Uh, sanding that uh, flushing compound down on a humid day, it's like being tarred and feathered, so I had to go and have a shower. And uh, I vacuumed up anyway, um, and I'm just going to do a bit of caulking, and then I'll start undercoating everything that needs undercoating. Damn it, found another spot that I have to sand up around the top of the arch. Oh well, time to get dirty again. Oh, it's amazing how much dust you get off that stuff. Seems like you get more dust off than what you put on to start with. Oh well. That's done. Okay, so all the sanding's done and I've corked up where I need to cork up. So I'm going to go around with a broom. I'm going to sweep all the walls, the skirtings and everything. And I'm going to vacuum again and then it will be time to put the undercoat on. Show. 
You were all my heart knew That's all I held on to But you let go We met over coffee on 17th Street As easy as that when two souls meet We said I'd do for worse or better Promise to hold on forever But you let go Time flew by like a thunderstorm People change and that's nobody's fault Alright, well, I'm still going Still doing the undercoat um, this has taken me forever. Um, I've just got to run around the skirtings now, give them another coat and um, get it ready to roll. So I've just gone around, I don't know if you can see that, and I'll put some masking tape along the floor. Uh, that way I'm not going to have to cut in along the floor, so that's going to make things a lot quicker. So I'll keep moving and I'll come back in a minute. So at long last, I've brushed all the undercoat on in the room, done all the skirtings, all the corners, around the corners, all that, and uh, now I'm ready to roll. So I'm going to roll the uh, undercoat on and going to leave it for an hour and hopefully it's dry enough then and I can come back with the colour and start the colour. So we'll see how that goes.
Well, there we go, all undercoated. So I'll give that an hour or so till it's dry and then I'll start coming around and uh, cutting in the top coat. Just a bit of a picture and try and get a bit more of the detail in to show you. All the skirting's all corked along the top. Nice thick coat of undercoat to cover all that brown that I'd put on there. A few little defects to fill before I top coat the architraves, but that's okay. And here's a shot of those corners. You can see, they come up, they, they looks like a plaster wall. You wouldn't know that stip rock. Here's a lesson. When you put the lid on, when you're in the middle of using it, push it down tight because you go to pick it up and it falls over because you forget the lid's not on tight. So yeah, lucky that this carpet isn't a good carpet or it would be ruined. So yeah. Put the lid on tight every time, even if you're going to be going back to it. That's the lesson for the day. Then you won't have to clean this shit up. Uh, I'm going to look like a bit of a goose explaining that one to my wife. It happens, happens to the best of us. Silly mistakes. And that was a silly one. About as silly as it gets. See if I can mop it, mop it up a bit. Might be able to get a bit of it up. And use a handle. It comes with a handle. All you have to do is pick it up. So by the time I cleaned up my mess that I made on the carpet, not that I got it perfect, uh, the paint in the room was dry. So I've poured out my yellow paint and this time I've put the lid on properly on the new can and uh, I'm going to start uh, cutting in all around the edges. So what I like to do is Obviously the spots that are hard to get the rollers in, like up there, you got to go in and paint that with a brush. But um, under here is not important. There will be another bit of timber going on there. Um, so that's, they just go up and to the edge. Now, down along the skirting, I don't bother cutting it in too much because I don't want to have a bit where there's a bit of white showing through. So I just come down over the edge a little bit. And then I can cut in with the enamel once uh, this is all dry, once I've finished the walls. So just that little bit of wall colour down the edge. And this yellow is covering beautifully.
This time, I'm going to put the lid on tight, once bitten, twice shy. All right, time to roll the colour on. This is the real exciting bit. So this cover colour is covering really well with the brush, so uh, I think it'll probably cover just as good with the roller. Um, so uh, we still give it two coats, of course. But um, for anyone who's interested, I got this paint from, it's a Dulux colour, and I got it from Inspirations at uh, Paraka uh, in Adelaide. And um, it's a colour called Pale Oriental. Now it's not a heritage colour, but it's, a, it's close to a heritage colour. Uh, I, I didn't like the true heritage ones that much, but this is just, it's a little bit more yellow. Uh, it was going more on the like peach side of things and that's not for me. So yeah, that's where I got the paint from and uh, we're ready to roll, so let's just do it. How about that? That is bloody awesome. Loving it, absolutely loving it. Um, it'll dry a little bit darker, but that's fine. Uh, by the time I've got the nice gloss white enamel on the skirtings and architraves, clean up the floor and get my timber furniture in here, it is gonna be amazing. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. So when you're rolling paint on the walls, it really helps to use a, uh, a long stick as, so that you can comfortably get to the top without having to reach. This goes miles higher. Uh, I've only got it on uh, the second notch and it's got about 10. So um, I've got a nice long pole. And uh, what you want to do is get your roller nice and heavy with paint and you want to roll it on. and. Uh, get it on, so cover uh, a small area, maybe two roller widths wide, and then you want to just, you, you've got to smooth it out, you don't want thick spots, so you go up and down, up and down, you go over, back what you've uh, already been over, and then come back, and then you want to go a little bit over the last line that you did, so that you don't get any build up uh, and a line from the roller. This roller that I'm using is really good. It's got rounded edges, so you don't get a sharp, uh, you don't have a sharp lip where it can leave a build up and a line down the wall. But you don't, you, you gotta get the paint on and then you've gotta smooth it off. So get balanced, get nice and straight. You don't wanna be rolling over on angles. You just wanna go up and down. And uh, if you do that, you'll get a perfect finish. Okay guys, well I'm going to leave it there for this video, I think. Um, we've uh, got a bit more to do in this room with painting the skirtings, 
but I'll do the skirtings and I'll have us move all our furniture in here and do a full reveal for you. So uh, we'll call that quits for today and um, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.